Hi everybody, I'm Doc Shocker, and welcome to The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, as always, we'll be starting up uh, from my second save file and playing forward. I think in the last episode we managed to unlock Maggie for ourselves, as well as Lazarus. But uh, for this little escapade, we are going to travel on as Isaac. Oh, so we've got first video up. Uh, we'll probably have another Isaac video going up uh, today, which would be episode two. So the channel good stuff is again underway, which makes me very, very happy. Uh, let's see, we netted ourselves a key for not really a whole lot of work, but we're still, you know, only in the uh, the basement, not the cellar. Uh, we've got some flies. Let's see if we can. Uh, not take some really dumb damage by way of them. The D10 allows us to reroll enemies in a room on a single recharge. Um, I've yet to really find a, a concrete use for this because typically the stuff that you roll ends up being a little more uh, difficult to kill than uh, usually what you have in the room to begin with. Now, that said, possibly in, in later floors, such as uh, Hell or the Cathedral, or I'm sorry, Shoal or the Cathedral, um, it might come in handy because, you know, you tend to fight some beefier, much more pain-in-the-butt style enemies. But uh, as far as the basement is concerned, it really isn't uh, all it's cracked up to be in the early floors of the game. <clears throat> now that is simply my opinion, and anybody who disagrees, well, be sure to let me know in the comments, because, you know, my tune can change. I am certainly not above it. There go. I think we're going to worry about D12-ing that, because you know, knowing the odds would probably turn into something far worse. Giant booming spider champion something equally unpleasant I mean it won't re-roll anything into a boss or anything like that as far as I know although some uh, enemies do there's some bosses do kind of get a demotion in later levels Larry jr. being one of them um, where you actually have to fight them in regular rooms um, Pin is another one, which I think we've actually yet to see in any of the videos so far. Uh, you can see we're fighting the Duke of Flies. He's very much keeping true to his name by spawning copious amounts of flies for us to dodge and attack. Luckily not one of the harder bosses in the game, though, as he's a slow mover, and while you do have some housekeeping to do and taking silly damage on my part, let's get him out of the way, take a little bit more silly damage, and we'll net ourselves the toothpicks. Which, not necessarily, uh, actually probably one of the better boss pickups, the exception of like a HP up in the early levels of the game. We're going back to uh, this sacrifice room to grab that heart, so we're not going to go in, well, a heart lighter than we would be. Uh, we don't have any change, but we do have a bomb, so I could try and find us a secret room, but as is usually the case with the first room, it's kind of a, a roll of the dice. Moving on. We are now in the basement too. We've got some angry fire to shoot, hopefully before it shoots us. And we get ourselves some friendly spiders to take into the next room. <clears throat> I believe they uh, are like flies in that they do roughly two times the damage of your tears. when they actually, you know, attack. Because that guy could have totally taken out that fly and, you know, spared me that half-heart damage. Because I'm going to blame it on the spider and not my 
scrub level play. Got a tinted rock down there, which we will be taking advantage of. Take a little extra damage while we're at it. And we've got extra keys. A little chestception. Thus basically nullifying the uh, hit point gain of this room. In return, we get ourselves a bomb. We've got one key left, so up into the item room for the piggy bank. My life savings, which automatically gives you three cents. And upon taking hits, you also drop pennies to pick up. And I'm just going to sit here and take foolish, foolish damage. We'll go back and grab that. Hopefully we get a couple of keys to take advantage of the two rooms that are located on this floor. One being a shop and the other probably being some sort of goody treasure room. But as this is on hard difficulty, the, the likelihood of getting what you need when you need it is, uh, well, greatly reduced by comparison to normal mode. Uh, we've cleared the room, no tinted rocks. But we do have a tinted rock in here, which could grab us a key. Which, if that gets us the shop, we could potentially purchase another key. Always a good thing. Maybe be able to, uh, see what the treasure room holds for us. Half heart. Get our explodey on that. Uh, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, looks like we may have a secret room in between our treasure room. Because it was really worthwhile for me to go up there and take uh, full heart for really nothing. Um, let's see, we'll come up here, get this shot right here. Nope. So, Secret Room is not in the cards for us this time around. And here we go again. <laughs> and I died. Alright, first run of the day is done. Not a bad thing, really. We didn't have any genuinely great drops to really get us through, so we'll just have to deal with my scrub level play to start. Uh, we've got a red heart here for later. And there should be very little doubt that we will be needing it later. Uh, get our bomb right down there. Get ourselves a secret room. Nine cents in the secret room. Let's reach for that brass ring, see if there's another penny. No. Don't have a bomb or else I'd blow up the fool sitting there. dodge on that. We do have a room downward of that last room we were in, but uh, I don't know if we'll be going back for it as spiky mover things are not evidently my friend today because I'm not smart enough to dodge them. And into the treasure room for the fat odd mushroom, which is a damage up as well as a cranium up. Uh, let's see, we've got a tinted rock but no bomb. Three keys. So we may be going back for that. So we have 11 cents, which puts us in shop territory. And uh, there's always the likelihood of getting us something of value. Uh, 16 cents. So we have a key, which isn't exactly what I was looking for, but we also have for 15 cents the remote detonator, which gives us five bombs, and we can manually detonate them. Which got us three blue hearts there, so that's certainly uh, a win. Grab our pill. 
get slowed down for it, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. And let's see, we'll let's see if we can't get these fellas out of the way. Take a little damage from Monstro, but give a little in return. Tears. Hopefully, uh, yep, bring in the last bit of our damage. And we got ourselves the placenta, which is regeneration and hit point up. So we're riding into our uh, basement two floor in much better shape this time around. But again, we have some evil spiky shizwas to deal with. We'll get our blue hearts and be on our way gingerly before taking more inappropriate damage. To walk into a room to take some inappropriate damage. That's okay, we're just playing true to form today. True to form. Okay, Bob's Curse, five poison bombs. Nice combination for our remote detonator. Get a little bomb synergy going on. I'll take our key and keep moving onward. movers here to better compensate for my speed down pill I took on the first floor. Fly like mofos take care of. Get them sorted. We'll take a little bit of damage. Solves the magic scab and have a look in the devil room. Take our black hearts, and we're not going to take the, the headless torso there. And by not taking that, hopefully, we put ourselves in a position where we are eligible for a, an angel room in forthcoming floors, which can always benefit us greatly. Take some silly, silly damage. I'm gonna grab that heart, get us back up to at least full red. Let's just take all of the damage. We're getting that damage up on a skinny ear on the fat odd mushroom. Uh, not really seeing the benefits of it. As things are not really perishing as quickly as I would hope.
another pill. We are now being ravaged by puberty. Evil, evil puberty. Shoot us some more poops. Ah, the rosary bead faith up, which should be uh, entitling us to two more heart drops. item room so far. We've run ourselves out of our armory blue hearts. Ourselves some ring around the rosy here. Well, not quite. Woohoo, Penny bringing us up to three cents. A room full of three of this game's more annoying enemies. These walking turrets. One now, two to go. Okay. There we go. Flat penny. Wealth of answers. The flat penny, when you pick up a penny, it gives a 50 50 chance of a key coming along with it. Uh, so, all in all, a good thing. We're half heart down. We still have no item room, so we're gonna head this way and see what we can come up with in the way of uh, it's a full heart. So we're gonna sit on that for a little while. But we have a half heart here. With shooty spider, and there is our item room and a new pill. Let's see how we're doing. Found pills. So far, nothing uh, too spectacular to be discerned from the... Uh... Rooms we've been playing through so far. Let's see. Continue shooting our poop. Alright. In we go. It's us Ares, ramming speed. In all my time playing, I haven't really discovered what Ares does. Maybe it's just a, a small speed up. Um, possibly it lets us get through enemies instead of being a, uh, susceptible to being pinned into corners and things. Um, not exactly sure. Looks like we're going to be moving into a double boss room. Fight double widows. done. We only took way too much damage. It's a pretty good shape. 
Ah, Lucena did its job. We got an HP up for our trouble. In the form of breakfast. Some spoiled milk. On we go. Into the caves to have ourselves an arcade. A beggar. A uh, blood bank, which we'll play for a few. We won't go too crazy just yet. Brings us up to 11 cents. Maybe we'll play down on this for a moment. Which, you know, first coin got us a blue heart. Uh, that pill, I believe, is puberty, so we'll be avoiding that. Um, not that doubling up on puberty is really detrimental to you at all. It's, it, it's no more detrimental than my attempts at dodging, anyway. Oh, here we go. Downward. To a room of jumpy. Okay. Oh, that was pretty slick. Does not happen every day. Back up to nine cents, so we may uh, go back and play in the arcade for another couple of spins, but we're, again, not going to go particularly crazy with it, because it chews up a lot of video to do that. And while there are some marked benefits to gambling um, by way of getting Skatol or an HP up, or the uh, blood bank, or blood bag, I should say. Portable transfusion. It's just really not worth it to consume game time or recording time to watch me bump into a bomb or something of that nature. First card, Justice. Drop of everything found in this level. evil skull type action going on here. Taking fire from all angles. I don't even know why I attempt to dodge such things, because evidently I am incapable. Shoot. Take some more insane, stupid damage. Wow, some really poor play from me today, that is for sure. Get ourselves another penny. Key, which we are not in particular dire need of. Let's see, we should probably head down, see if we have an item room down here. That heart will come in handy for us. battery, which allows for random charge at the end, or random bonus charge towards our spacebar item at the end of the room. <clears throat> Can be very helpful, but uh, the remote detonator doesn't take charge, so I think we're better served currently with the, uh, the flat penny.
another speed downhill, which gets us absolutely nowhere, as I don't want to be any slower than I currently am. Go in and check our shop, although there's a chance that uh, we may end up <clears throat> with one of the deadly sins, but is not the case. We've got a bomb and a key. We'll take our three cent bomb. Invest a few cents. Be on our way. Ourselves a chest. Good for another seven cents, it would appear couple of keys, and our boss room. Still no item room. Back in the bombs. Always a good thing. Potential item, or potential secret room there. As well as up here, but as the center of the room is blocked off by a gap, uh, chances are that is not in a secret room for us. A poop is shot into the item room for, well, Bob's brain, which will ultimately probably lead to the death of us, but we're going to go with it. Explosive thoughts. And we'll hit our item room. Basically, it's a, a friend that acts as a rocket launcher, but if you are susceptible to explosions, um, well, it's, it's not really going to be a happy ending for us. Bob's brain came through for us, so far. And we get ourselves the pentagram, which is good for a damage up. Uh, one of the better damage ups, I believe, as well. And into the depths we go. Uh, let's see, this goes nowhere, we have no flight. Uh, blue fire has the, the ability to spawn blue hearts for us, which is a very good thing. And there you are. <laughs> you see the curse that is Bob's brain. That was today's episode of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. If you've enjoyed the video, please be sure to press the like button down uh, below. Or the share button, the favorite button, the subscribe button, and every other button you can conceive down underneath the video below. Um, you can find me on Facebook uh, at, a, at an address located also in this video's description. Um, thank you for watching. I've been Doc Shocker. You've been great. Happy gaming. <laughs>